Hi there everybody and welcome. It's uh, Tuesday, which means it's Facebook Live today at time. Uh, it's Jackie here from stampingjack.com uh, and welcome. Uh, I've been looking forward to crafting with you guys again this week. And thankfully I'm back on track and I'm on to my usual schedule. So uh, just give you guys a second. I'm just going to check my setup. Just one second. Make sure that I'm in the right place. So let me just just trying to check my okay. Make sure I can see everyone. So when you here, if you just leave me a comment, let me know you're here. There we go. Just want to make sure. Oh, hi Lynn, hi Amy, hi Doreen. Welcome. Hi Emma. Good, good, good. We've got a few of you here to begin with. Yay. So, happy Tuesday everybody. It's good to have you here. Um, I've got some fun projects um, for you today. Um, so, let me just... There we go. Uh, so, Doreen, as always, you're the first one in and the first one to share. So, that just reminds me to remind everybody to share the video. Hi Diane, welcome. Um, and of those of you who shared it last week, the winner was Doreen, so well done. So I've got um, a little pack of random card front sized papers that I shall pop in the post to you, so well done. So every week I will uh, pick someone randomly from those who shared the video um, to uh, go in a draw and you can win one of these paper packs. Um, so who have we got? Hi Kat, happy birthday today. Hope you're having a lovely day. Special birthday treat for you today. Right, so today, um, so last week, I started playing with uh, this stamp set here um, and the coordinating dies and we made a card and then I just kind of kept going so most of our projects tonight are going to be using these um, and kind of going to be making some sort of mail themed cards as well so hi Sue welcome um, but before we get into that I just got a few announcements to make so um, the special offer um, where you uh, get to pick a bundle of your choice from the catalogue when you sign up as a demonstrator runs out tonight uh, it runs out at 10 to 11 at UK time, PM. Um, so if you've been on the fence and thinking about it um, and would like to sign up, um, just I would recommend that you do so. Um, a lot of you have, um, so thank you and welcome. And um, we're having uh, a scheduled a team meeting for the 18th of July. So a Zoom meeting where we'll do a bit of crafting. Um, but if you haven't heard me tell you before, um, signing up as a demonstrator, you get to pick £130 worth of uh, product for just £99. And then on top of that, until 10 to 11 tonight, you get to pick any stamp, any um, die or punch bundle from the catalogue for free. And I think one of the bundles in there is 50, 50, 50 something pounds or something. So it's a great deal. And then all of the purchases that you make after that, you get your 20% discount on, which is great. Um, there's no there's no huge commitment. I mean, just to stay active as a demonstrator, you need to either purchase or sell a minimum amount every three months. Um, but when you join, you have um, until June, July, until the end of September to do that. Um, and then if you don't make that minimum, all you do is stop being a demonstrator. There's no hassle, there's no grief, there's no stamping up police knocking on your door saying, why didn't you make your minimum? Um, you don't have to give anything back, you don't owe any money, you just stop. And the best bit is that you can sign back up again straight away if you want to. So I know we've got, uh, hi Susan, welcome. We've got Diane and we've got Sue and we've got Emma who are all on my team um, and have been on it for a while on and off have dropped in and out as and when it suited them so um ladies if you want to chip in like i say most of you i think have uh, have have jumped and hopefully you won't regret it 
Um, so we've got that ends tonight. Um, also, today is the last day to sign up to the monthly stamp club. Now, I suspect because most of you who would have joined the stamp club have probably signed up as demonstrators. Unfortunately, we haven't got enough people um, to make the club work. We need a minimum of five. And at the moment, I've got three. Um, so what I've decided to do is I'll extend the deadline by another week. Um, and hopefully, let's see if anybody else joins in, then we can carry on with the club. But if not, unfortunately, um, we won't be able to do it because it does need a minimum, a minimum number of people in order to make it run. So fingers crossed that we'll have we'll have some of you will decide that you want to join the club. That's very simple. Um, basically, you commit to spending um, at least thirty pounds each month for five months. Um, and during one of those months, you get to choose at least £15 in product credit for free. Um, so basically how it works is when we put the order together, um, you get at least 10% of the value of that order to spend in the catalogue. So if the order in your month is £200, you get £20 to spend. If it's £300, well, you get more than that because then the percentages go up. But you'll get at least £15 to spend um, in your month. In addition to that... Um, every month I will give the members uh, an exclusive video tutorial. So I'll send you all a, a video tutorial and a PDF um, with, a, with a couple of fun projects on it for you to, for you to have a go at. Um, so that's that. And then the third thing to tell you about is that my next online class is now ready. So my next online class is going to be using the Painted Poppies stamp set. And I know a lot of you have this and have been having great fun. I'm going to be using the coordinating dies. So how this works is we'll have a live Zoom class on the 16th of July. Okay. And then you'll get a PDF with all of the dimensions and the supplies you need beforehand. So you can cut up all your pieces. Um, you'll also get sent a link to a video tutorial. So even if you can't make the live class on the 16th, you can still access the video tutorial anytime you like. Um, if you buy this bundle from me, um, then you get the class for free. Otherwise, the, class, the online only class costs £10. Um, you can opt to have a project pack sent to you. So that includes, is where I do all of the cutting, uh, for you so you receive a pack which has got all the pieces for the for the cards that we're going to make um, the deadline for ordering that is the 6th of July because that then allows me time to just cut everything up and post it to you um, the deadline for signing up for the zoom class is the 15th so you can sign up anytime until the day before um, and of course anyone who's on my team as a perk you get access to this class absolutely free um, so uh, you can just let me know that you want to join in and I'll send you I'll send you the zoom link um, and obviously you'll get the PDF and the, and the video tutorial as well. So it's great value for money um, and it's a lot of fun. So let's have a look. See the comments. There we go. OK, so um, how this one's going to work is you'll notice that this stamp set doesn't have any sentiments in it. OK, so for the class. I'll be using the Peaceful Moments stamp set for my sentiments, but the projects won't need these specific ones. So if you have this stamp set, great. If you don't, you can just substitute for your own sentiments. Um, and again, you know, if you don't have the exact colors or whatever um, that I specify in the projects during the class, I'll give you ideas and suggestions about alternatives based on, you know, what, your, what you've got in your, in your craft room, in your supply. Okay, so that is the 16th of July, but the deadline for ordering the project pack with all the pieces, card pieces cut for you is next week, which is the 6th of July. So I think it's, is it next Tuesday? It might be. Yes, I think it might be. But anyway, so that's enough of that. Let's get on with some crafting. So, oh, before I do, just wanted to show you, these are some of the cards that we've already made with that stamp set. So that's just, but obviously what we'll make in the class will be different and gorgeous too. So um, it's just, it's a gorgeous set. And I think, like I said, I think a lot of you have it already. So um, hopefully we'll see you at the class. Um, right. So as I said, 
Today we're going to be using this stamp set and dies. And I think this is, a number of you have kind of said to me, this is one of those ones where it's kind of, people have kind of gone past it or you're like, well, I'm not really quite sure what to do with it. But when I saw this, I was really quite excited um, because I love having shapes. And I think triangles, again, when you're looking for mail cards, they're just a great accent. Um, that's not a flower. So it gives you a lot of possibilities. And I think here like that, so you've got your right angles here. So like that you can layer up, um, which is great. And then you've got your equilateral triangles, which are fun and um, which kind of, we're going to play with those. And then you've got these ones, which are like, you know, they're pennants. I see pizza slices. I also see trees and I'll give you a quick sneak tip is that I've seen, believe it or not, I've seen the new autumn winter catalogue from Stampin' Up! that's coming out in August. And there is a stamp set, Christmas stamp set that goes with these dies. So it's going to be cool. You'll love it. So that's just a little tip for you, little sneak peek before I can show you. Um, I, we, we, as demonstrators, we get to see it all first. So those of you who are on my team, you'll be able to go in and have a look at the PDF. And we can actually order from the catalogue from tomorrow. But I'm not sure I'm ready to start thinking about Christmas just yet. I'm still kind of getting to grips with all of these lovely goodies. So anyway, this is what we're going to be playing with tonight. So for our first card, okay, I'm going to be using um, also the Beautiful World stamp set for the sentiment. And we're using some Smoky Slate and some Misty Moonlight. And what I've done is I've just cut out a load of these triangles. So this is these ones here. So I've chosen the three smallest ones and just cut them out in Misty Moonlight, Balmy Blue and uh, Smoky Slate. Okay. And then we're just going to swap these around. I'm just going to adhere these to my card. But before I do that, I want to put my sentiment. So I like that these look kind of like arrows. So that's kind of what I'm going for with them. If you can see that. Like so. And then what I've got is I'm going to take the Adventure Awaits sentiment. So that is here. And I'm going to stamp that in. Misty Moonlight. So let's move that out of my way and grab this bigger block. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to, I thought I was going to use the Smoky Slate ink pad, but actually I'm not going to do any stamping in Smoky Slate, I don't think think about it in a second so there we go okay and then I'm just going to grab my dimensionals okay so what we're going to do is just glue down so I love that these have got the stitching on them as well. So they've just got that lovely extra detail on them. So we're just going to glue that one. And then Oop. and I love this colour combination for mail cards generally, just this navy and blue and grey. There we go. And that's not straight. Yep. There we go. And then we'll just repeat the same for the others. Really, really easy to do this card. And like that, you could do it in whatever combination of colors that you like. Go. Okay. 
You love the tomboy shake. What's that, Diane? Is that autocorrect? Or am I missing something? <laughs> you mean the tombow shake? Yeah, I need a new... I need a new... bottle. But I'm reluctant to start it because there's still plenty in here. It just hides at the bottom. There we go. Oop. That's it. And then I'm just going to glue this onto a layer of Misty Moonlight. So this is one of the new in colours. So it's a great... I love Night of Navy. Um, it's a fantastic, rich, gorgeous colour. But I think this is just a lovely alternative to it. Um, and it goes so beautifully with the grey and the and the balmy blue so I've just got a little smudge on here so I'm just going to get rid of that there we go tumbo Diane I figured that's what you meant it's all in the wrist Diane <laughs> and then we've got a smoky slate base so there you go very very simple card and like that you know all sorts of different colour combinations and designs that you can work with that, depending on the recipient. Um, but very, very easy to do. So that's card number one. Okay. Now, card number two is very similar. So it's using the same colour scheme. So this time, and I'm going to use the Itty Bitty Birthdays stamp set for this. So we've got a Misty Moonlight base, and then we've got our smoky slate uh, layer and then we have some more triangles here okay so let's but first let's do our stamping so i'm going to stamp the happy birthday on here susan have i tried using the glue on the side i haven't and i'll tell you why because i have a little basket where i keep everything and there isn't room for it to be on its side um, I do often keep them that way in my basket though, so they're not too bad. Okay, so now I'm just going to stamp this like so. Let's see if I can get it straight. Oh, that's rubbish. Let's flip that one over and let's see. Do you know what? I'm going to put it on a larger block because then I can see better. There we go. Let's try it now. Okay. There, that's better. Okay. So as a general rule, when you're putting your um, when you're putting your stamps on the block, you want to use the smallest block possible because then you don't get lots of wobble. But like that, when you've got a skinny one like that, sometimes it can be hard to see. So it's worth moving up to the next size. Okay. I'm going to put pop that to one side for a second. Um, because I'm not entirely sure exactly how this is going to get positioned on here. And then I'm going to go for a random uh, look here. So bear with me a second whilst I arrange. So let's move those to the side. Okay. So I kind of had an idea in my mind of what I wanted, but let's see. If it works, you know how these things go sometimes.
This is a fun bit, isn't it? There we go. Mm. What do I want, ladies? What do I want? There we go. I think that should do it. Is that one? Over here. No. Okay, so we've got a few extras. Alrighty, and then what we're going to do is that. So if I do that. Do mm, I want another one here? Nope. I'm going to stop now. <laughs> Right, okay. Now, so let's start with this one. And I've changed my mind. And the reason I'm not putting glue all the way on these is that I want to leave the flexibility to do this. I want to. Go. And then. Oops. So here's where Tombow really comes into its own because I have the flexibility to move stuff around a little bit on my card. Okay. Do I want another grey one down here? I don't think so, but let me just see. Yeah, I think I've got another. Mm. Yeah, I think I like that. And let's put a blue one up here. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to use my punch to just Tag the end here. Put this on. Some dimensionals on the back. So I'll just get an inch piece. So. Okay, and I'm just going to trim it off. Let me 
back like so and then I think I need another dimensional just at the edge there so let's just pop that on there just so it doesn't flap around here we go and I know that this is a mail card but I think we could do with a little bit of a little bit of shine on it so I'm just going to take a few do the trick so I think it just gives it a little bit of shine without making it look feminine okay and then we're just going to pop that onto our gray there we go and then pop our gray onto our misty moonlight base so there we have it and again you know i love this color combination but you could change that up to be whatever color combination you like just making sure i'm seeing your comments okay so there you go that's card number two let's move that out of the way Thanks, Amy. As I said, I, I just when I saw these when I saw these triangles, it just made me think, ah, men's cards makes them a lot easier. Now, not only men's cards, because the next two cards I have for you are um, more sort of children's cards, but I'm going to use sort of boy colours for these. So I'm going to use the big triangle, which I used last week. Okay. But I'm going to use it now. I need my, where's my scrap of white? Yes. Yes, this is it. No, that's not it. That goes there. So let me just get my scrap. Here we are. So let's just pop our piece in here. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this stamp and I'm going to create some, so cut it up using this die here okay so how we're going to do that so I've done some already in Bermuda Bay and uh, what's this color daffodil delight so now I'm going to do real red so this is just a real kind of boyish Toblerone Emma yes absolutely Toblerone Yes, Lynn, I know. I was tempted on that last one to add Wink of Stella, but I resisted because it is a boy card. So, But I did put some rhinestones on it, so it is blinged up a little bit. Um, okay, so now I'm just going to ink up with our real red. Let's move our piece. Okay, and that's inked up just nice. So let me just wipe that off with my chamois, which is under here somewhere. It's there. <laughs> so red has a tendency to get everywhere, so I'm just going to wipe this off, otherwise, I know exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to brush my card pieces up against it. Okay. So, obviously, you know, this is a really big piece here. And there's all this, they're all right angles, you see the stamped images. And obviously, you look at this and you kind of think, okay, that's going to go on the corner of a card. But don't forget that you can stamp this and then cut out the smaller images. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it to cut out these little pennants here. So, I'm going to think a little bit laterally I suppose is the word so what we're going to do is let's just grab make sure I grab the right one I think it's this one yes 
Okay, and then I've got the bits that I've die cut before, just to give you an idea. So you can see the way I've lined up. You can see the way that I've lined up the dies inside it. I'm not bothered about the stripes, um, but you can see I've just gotten three out of this half a triangle. So bear with me one second. I'm just going to die cut this quickly. Talk amongst yourselves whilst I do. Now we have our three red pieces too. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. Don't need this now. Okay, so now we've got our Whisper White card base. And you can see, look, told you I've managed to get red on it. I don't even know how I did that. I'm not even sure I touched that piece. But anyway, not to worry because we've got this piece. It's going to go over the top. Okay, so this one is going to be very easy. We're just going to create our pattern. I've got the glue on my finger. Okay, and then I think we'll need a little bit of a yellow one on that end. Okay, so now we're going to get our glue. Now, will I glue or will I dimensional? Do you know what? Let's pop them up, shall we? Just for... No, I won't pop them up and I'll tell you why. Because I may need to wiggle them around. Okay, let me just grab this on the edge so it doesn't stick to my work surface. Okay, so I'm not pressing them down hard. You can see I've stamped this on a scrap. I've just got something else on the back because I want to be able to move them if I need to. So good, it's already got glue on it. So, hang on. So whilst my piece won't stick to my work surface, it will stick to the thing I've put it on. Right, so all that lovely lining up has gone completely to waste, but never mind. It was just for guidance anyway. And these would be great little pennants. So like if you had a, you could, you know, string them across the card like a little pennant that said happy or you could put some letters on it so that it had somebody's name on it if you wanted to personalise. All sorts. Okay, so then yellow. Make sure I put them in the right order. And again, you know, if you didn't want to stamp, you could just simply cut these out of patterned paper, whatever you want it to do. But I love this stripe. I think it's really lovely. So again, this would look great, you know, sort of like monochrome, greys, black. It would look really quite striking, wouldn't it? So red next. There we go. And what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to make sure of is that they're straight. There we go. And then we've got our yellow, which will just hang off the back. So I'm just going to put some along this side here. Okay. 
Okay, and now if I was a very precise sort of person, I'd have lined that up so that they, you know, hung off equidistant on either side, but I'm not that kind of person, so I didn't. Okay, and then we'll do this one. There we go. Yeah, we've got a cool pattern. All right, and then got a little strip here that you left over from uh, luck, luck, got glue on it, left over from trimming my cardstock. And I have, where's the stamp set I wanted for this one? I think it's this one. Yeah. Nope. It is the same stamp set as before. So I'm going to just do the happy birthday again. Mm, yep, yeah. it's already out. So question is, what color will I stamp my sentiment? Will I do it in red, Bermuda or yellow? Right, let me just gather some bits together. So that's gonna get popped up so I can put the bits on the back of that wall. I want to get your suggestions. So red, yellow, or Bermuda. Also going to try and get the glue off my fingers. Whilst I wait, Bermuda says Emma, Susan says not yellow, okay, Susan says, Sue says Bermuda, yeah, I think I'm with you guys, I think Bermuda was kind of in my mind, so let's do that, but definitely not yellow, Susan, <laughs> I think you're right, I think yellow is too light, it will just won't show up as well as we might like. Okay, so again, let's see if I can line this one up. Yep, and then we're going to do the same as before. Yep, Bermuda, Bermuda, Bermuda. You guys have got a good taste. There we go, and then we'll put some dimensionals on the back. So again we're going to do the same as we did for the other one and just do a strip. I think we'll put a little bit more on there because I want it to come over a bit further. Gosh that was pretty unanimous with the old Bermuda bag out guys. See if I can get this straight. Get rid of that because that's putting me off. There we go. And then we'll just trim that off. And then what I am going to do is I'm going to get my. I'm going to get my red blender pen. I've got my dark poppy parade and then I've got my rhinestones and I'm going to color a few of these so I'm going to color them red okay let's give those a second Okay, whilst we wait for those to dry a little, I'm just going to pop this onto my card base. <laughs> I'm just laughing. There's just I can see the comments continuing to scroll through for Bermuda Bay. So there we 
we go. And now I'm just going to grab my little pick, pick tool. Put one on there. And then pop one there, I think. And I think two is enough on that one, actually. So we're going to use a red one on something else. I'm sure I'll find a use for it. Okay, so there we go. This is a great colour combination, this Bermuda Bay Daffodil Delight and Real Red. It's great for bright, happy birthday cards. Okay, so let's clear out some space. Gosh, we're flying through. We're going to our last card. So what happens when I prepare ahead of time, you see, and I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't happen every week most week in fact most weeks i'm usually winging it to be perfectly honest right so the next card is going to be another happy bright color combination but we're going to be using our new ink colors so we've got misty moonlight just jade and bumblebee uh, and again we're using our triangles and i'm going to use the uh this stamp set, the Grand Kid, and I'm also going to use this. This is the wreath die, and I'm going to use this little piece here, and you'll see why in a moment. Okay, so we've got our pieces. So I'm going to grab. Let me think now. Let me think. What did I do? What did I want to do? I wanted this one. Right, and I wanted yeah, okay. So I'm going to stamp this image here. Yeah. And I'm going to stamp it three times. Okay, so it's just Open these. Let's see if you can guess what I'm making with this. Okay, so we'll start with our lightest colour. So we'll start with the Bermuda Bay. Okay, clean that off. Oop. And then we'll do our just jade. You could, you could just make a card like this with this stamped pattern. It looks really cool, but that's not what we're going to do. Okay, and then we've got our blue. Okay, so this is a similar colour scheme to before, but they're slightly darker colours. Okay, so what I'm going to do is for each one of these, I'm going to cut out a piece. Okay, and then I'm going to cut out some bits of these. So bear with me one second and let's see if anyone can guess what it's going to be. Let's see. See who can figure it out. At least one of you is bound to figure it out. I'm sure of it. Because you're a clever bunch of ladies. And not only that, a lot of you kind of usually know where I'm headed with stuff. What are you looking at? Kites, Nolan, not kites. Good guess, sir. That's a really good idea. Hmm. You got me thinking now. You could definitely do kites with these. Any advance on kites? Anybody else got any ideas? That's two. Not seeing anything. Come on, guys. I'm sure you can think of something. <laughs> Bunting. Good guess, Susan, but no. The key is the silver beak piece that I'm cutting.
Boats. Oh, that's a good idea, Amy. Sailboats. But no, that's not what I'm cutting. Fantastic ideas from you guys about some other things I can make with these triangles. Alrighty. There we go. We've got all our bits. Let's see if having them sitting here like this helps you. Okay. While I grab my other pieces. So then what we have is I've got some little squares. Okay, in each of the colours. So I'm just going to glue the white piece. Like so. Okay. Any more advance on boats, bunting or kites? Let's try and get this straight. I'm too busy trying to look at the comments. <laughs> hats. Yes, Amy, well done. I'm going to make some party hats. I knew they'd keep these. These would give it away in the end. Okay. Alrighty. So there are three squares. So then... Just going to put a fat, yeah, and put a piece of glue just on the tip, and then these are our pom poms. There we go. So just give them a second. Cars, then. Cars. Oh, I'd like to see how you get cars. That I'm intrigued by. Explain. go there they are there we go and then I'm just going to pop a dimensional on the back of each one of those and put two mini ones Yes, so you could, and I tell you, you could use, I wouldn't use, you could make a roof, so, but what I would do is I would use, say this was the house, I would probably use that. So a little while ago, I made um, a house for someone, uh, one of my work colleagues, and I didn't have the triangle dies at the time, and that would have been really, really cool. Um, but yes, that's the, that's the roof that I would use. Excellent idea, Susan. Right, so then we're just going to pop the hats in our squares at a jaunty angle, because that's the best angle to wear a hat at, apparently. There we go. And then comes the bit that I haven't quite decided, which is how to actually lay, <laughs> lay these out on my card. Okay, so let's bring in our pieces. So we've got our base and then we've got our layer. So, so we could go for my usual layout, which is that, but that looks a bit boring go with this. I think I like this better. Maybe do them that way. Okay. And then we've got, I love this happy birthday. Put silver circles as wheels. Aha! I get it. Good thinking. See? You guys have just given me so many more ideas on what to do with this one. Now, again, do we want 
blue, green or yellow for the sentiment for this. Let me see. Because... This needs something. I think it needs a layer at the back. Yes, it does. So bear with me a minute. So whatever colour you tell me is the colour layer that I'll do at the back. Green, 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 okay, green it is. So let's get the green. Let's cut a piece. There we go. Okay. Actually, I think I'm going to do my sentiment in blue because I think there's more green than I want. So let's pop our blue on here. Let's move everything over a bit. So if I can get this guy straight. And then if we don't like the blue, we can just flip. Oh, no, I like that. I was going to say, if we didn't like the blue, we could just flip it over. But I like that. But it needs something. So I'm going to take this off. And I think I am going to spritz this. So bear with me a second. So I figured out just recently that I haven't got my normal markers. I'm thinking, oh, I can't spritz. I just realized that I can spritz with my stamp and blends. Duh, which I never thought of. So I've got my, what have I got here? I've got my Dark Daffodil Delight. So I'm just going to get these pieces out of the way. So let's just, and the same as our normal markers. There we go. Okay. And then we'll bring our pieces back in. Yep, and that works. So then let's grab our dimensionals and pop all these up. Okay, so let's do our yellow one first because I want to make sure that it lines up with that happy birthday. But I love that font on that happy birthday. That's just so fun. That is cool. Let's just pop that there. And then we'll pop our green one behind. Like so. And then our blue one. There we go. Okay, and then we'll just glue these layers together. Ooh, I'm pleased with that one now. That one worked out better than I thought it would. That is cool. <laughs> Don't you love it when that happens? When you've got an idea and you, when it actually turns out, you think, oh, it's better than I thought it would be. Okay, 
There we go. So there we have it, another triangle card and lots of further ideas about our triangle. So kites and boats and roofs of houses, ice cream cones you could do, you could do pieces of cake, all sorts of stuff or just the triangle. Uh, I'm also sure that you could, if you had one, you just try something quickly. If I cut out a triangle, uh, let's say, let's try this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this die cut piece and I'm going to cut it again and see what we get. Okay, so I'm just going to line it up. Then what you get is a smaller triangle, obviously. Okay, but you also get an arrow or a V or a tent. But I was mainly thinking of an arrow, which is kind of cool. So there we go. So there we have it. Let's bring back in our cards. Who knew triangles could be so much fun, eh? Right, so that's that one. And then we have this one. So again. You're going to need to tell me what your favourites are. So there we go. Um, so I think we'll call them one, two, three, four, because they're all the triangle cards, aren't they? So there you go. Let me let me know what your favourites are. Um, so we've got two sort of grown-up male cards. I don't know if you can see them properly. So let's move down a bit. Just looking at my screen. So you've got your two grown-up male cards and then you've got your two sort of boy um, fun coloured cards. So let's have a look. Let's see what everybody's saying. Okay, so while I clear up. So just a reminder to you all um, that again, the deadline for signing up as a demonstrator is tonight at 10 to 11. Um, Poppy, uh, painted poppies class is ready and will be happening on the 16th of July, but you can access the, the, the video tutorial anytime after that. Um, and we've got, um, as I say, uh, the, the, the monthly stamp club, if you've been thinking about it, we still need um, a couple more members to make it happen. Um, so the deadline was today, but I'm going to extend the deadline um, by another week. Um, Let's have a look. We've got Amy. You can't love well, you can love them all, but that's not the point. <laughs> <laughs> so Diane loves one, two, three, four, and two. Susan likes two. Yeah. Uh, Lynn likes the one with the hats. Susan likes two and four. Emma loves the blue triangles. Four, two, one, three, Doreen. <laughs> the whole point is to pick one, but I don't blame you. I'm glad you like them all. So thank you again, everybody. It's been lots of fun as always. And I will see you again next week. Cheerio. Bye.